Hey, what's going on? So I got a video. The title of this video is Does Who Wrote the Bible Matter If It's Proved to Be True? And as you see, I got three verses. I got Romans 12, 2, 1 Thessalonians 5, 21, and 1 John 4, 1. Now, I do understand that many people have not read the Bible. They just have bits and pieces. They are taking hearsay from other people who have agendas to control them. Because for most part, if you actually read the Bible, you would realize that it exposes everything that any entity who claims to represent the Bible and corruption does. So let me read this. Romans 12 two. do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. First Thessalonians five twenty one. But test everything. Hold fast what is good. And first John four one beloved. Do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. Now, clearly, the Bible gives everyone a discerning warning to critically think, test, and prove even Jesus Christ, Yeshua of the Bible, not of the imagination, not of what you heard in the church buildings, but the biblical Christ has said, you will know a tree by its fruit. So, and the reason I say this is because there's so many speculations. I could tell you that um, that Moses, he wrote the first book, uh, the first books of the Old Testament. I can tell you that the Gospels were written by Mark, uh, Matthew, Luke, and John. And Paul, the apostle, wrote 13 letters of the New Testament. I can tell you even more detail. But the question is, is that if it doesn't fit what benefits you, you won't believe no matter what I tell you. And I'm aware of all the speculations, theories, and lies, as with anything. You know, you find me anything that doesn't have speculations around it. I'm aware of the Council of Nicaea, which is basically uh bureaucratic issues you know that's uh with the vatican the roman catholic church how they appointed their false authority figures and all these unbiblical things that the bible talks about it exposes that so the council of nicaea does not speak against the bible and it did not change the bible and i'm aware of emperor constantine he did not change the Bible. He added pagan traditions that are not in the Bible, but he did not change the words of the Bible. And how do we know this with logic? Because the very Bible itself proves and exposes all the pagan traditions that the Emperor Constantine added. I can clearly take you to Jer the book of Jeremiah. I think it's starting at chapter 10. Where, where it exposes Christmas trees and and many things. The, you know, Estar, the Queen of Heaven, uh, Nimrod and Semiramis, all of this is exposed. But people refuse to read because they don't want the Bible to be true because the Bible exposes some of the wickedness that we all love. And it's easier to admit that we are in sin that we love the wrong things and that we all have to come to a honest, objective reality of our nature. And once we accept that, then we can see the Bible as that biblical standard, that reflection of God's law that exposes the evil within us. So we won't continue to destroy ourselves and the world we live in. The Vatican uses uh, extra biblical doctrines to permeate his lies and deceptions. And not the Bible. You know, all denominations are unbiblical sects. 
based on non-biblical doctrines. None of that is in the Bible. And I've heard everything to even people who claim there's a, the Bible is a plagiarism of alleged older texts and civilizations. I've talked with many people. I've heard it all, folks. But guess what? None of which can be verified. And it's just as much hearsay of this as the same allegations many put on the Bible. I can sit there and say, well, you're just believing what you read or what someone else told you about anything. But the question is, are people actually looking at what the Bible itself proves? If you implement the law of God biblically, it actually does improve your understanding of self, your circumstances and how to avoid being exploited, manipulated and controlled and ultimately destroyed by the evil in this world. It does that. Just implement it in your life. Apply the wisdom of the Bible. The Bible exposes many of the systems of this world. That's why the Bible says, do not be conform, conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. That by testing, you may discern what is the will of God. That doesn't sound like just believe aimlessly and foolishly. But it's actually calling you to critically think. To get out your uh, emotions and step away from your evils, your lust, your vanity, your greed, the things that the world uses to manipulate you. Step away from that. The Bible, again, is a written, uniform account of God's laws, wisdom, and divine nature. It's also a historical account of time, and it's verified even in secular history and proven by the things that you can verify to this day. There are many places right now that exist just as the Bible said they did. And more importantly, the law, wisdom, and attributes of God that we all agree with when we are honest You know, we have to value what is objectively good based on it working logically with evidence to avoid the bad consequences and outcomes. If you want to know whether something works, just try it and see what the outcome of you implementing that in your life is. Simple logic. But people don't want to do that. People do it their way and they have the negative outcome, the negative consequences, and yet somehow they they translate that to, oh, well, because the Bible isn't true. You, did it, you didn't do it the biblical way. You did it your way and it failed. But then, you, then people say they want to blame the God. They say that doesn't exist. And under that narrative, if God doesn't exist, then the evil is from you. I mean, either way, you can't escape the reality that you are, that we are the problem. That's why people hate the Bible, because it exposes the problems that we all know exist. Nobody really wants to be right. They just want to avoid the consequences of the evil they love. But when your mind is renewed and you come into the spiritual knowledge of God, which is his law, his attributes, which actually expose the evils of everything, then you can see clearly You know, it's, it's, it's crazy. You know, today we can clearly see and witness the effects of God. You know, we can, we can see it. Just translated to a world that rejects him. Everything that's wrong in the world today is because of the, the world rejecting God biblically. His law, his attributes, and his very nature. The government, all his institutions, the pagan traditions... That turn everything into idolatry, the media, the people celebrate materialism, greed, lust, selfishness, vanity. All of that proves to be destructive in nature. The word holy means to be set apart. So when the Bible spoke of holy, it was speaking of holy men and women who are set apart from the world and the evil nature of this world. And they're just instruments of his will, just as a pen it's just an instrument of a person to communicate a message. So when people say who wrote it, 
relate that to the concept of a person using a pen to write something. The pen is being used, but the person is using the pen to translate their, their message. All of this illogical um, pseudoscience that is destroying the world comes through men. The corrupt laws come through men. The systems that people hate come through men. Many products people use come through men. Doctors, dentists, mechanics, engineers, educational institutions, all doctrines written by men, yet people place their very lives in them and without complaint. The Bible clearly states the logical proven solution with evidence you know and things that actually function correctly and efficiently in creation the bible's prophecies have also come true in many cases i can't tell you the exact number but there are thousands of prophecies that if you just do the research if you cared enough to just not hate something that you haven't read you'll realize that many biblical prophecies have come true All the evils of the world clearly evident today are a result of God biblically being removed from the world. The current mark of the beast system that we see unfolding and being revealed right in front of our eyes. The Bible speaks of that. No other doctrine does. The evils of people and the inevitability of death have both been given solutions in the Bible. This world that many people trust in, it has no solution for the evil that you deal with in life. It has no solution from the inevitability of you dying and the uncertainty of you wondering what happens next in the world. They offer you no solution because in the beginning they say you are nothing and they say you're going to die as nothing. But that doesn't sit well with anyone. So I just wanted to get this video out there and I hope people can at least start to critically think and examine things clearly. Stop believing people who have agendas and have been institutionalized to a corrupt government. All right. The Bible is not the church building system. The Bible is the Bible. All right. Rome did not rewrite the Bible because the Bible exposes everything that Rome did as wrong. Why would they write a book that exposes and exposes themselves and exposes their evil plan? Why would they do that? Why would they want people to wake up? The world wants you to fall asleep and just believe these authority figures. It's the world that's deceiving you. The Bible's trying to wake you up. Everything that's wrong in your life is because of the world. So just think about that. Peace out.